and welcome back to the ranch. Dr. Uptown here. i do a video response to Mr. Uh, 23 Mr. Cowboys who uh, asked the question uh, or actually uh, requested that uh, we show him our 1911s and since I did make a uh, few acquisitions this year although you've seen them separately I don't think you've seen them uh, together since my uh, original 100th anniversary uh, 1911 video so I thought I'd go ahead and show them to you and uh, start off with uh, we'll go with the uh, Kimber this one is in uh, 22 long rifle it's a uh, 5 inch uh, frame and uh, standard wood grips like I say shoots a uh, 22 long rifle cartridge. Uh, beyond that, uh, extended grip safety. There's uh, nothing particularly fancy. Do have a bobtail hammer on that. Uh, the next one we'll have is uh, this particular one is uh, Rock Island. It's in nine millimeter. Uh, this is the uh, tactical model they have. Uh, of course, it has the uh, skeleton axe trigger, hammer, uh, beaver tail safety. This one uses, uh, I've got gunner grips on it with the uh, pure grip uh, insert in it. Uh, next one we'll have is show you is the uh, Rock Island, uh, this is a mid-size, this one's in uh, 45 ACP, uh, standard Colt grips along again with the uh, pure grip sleeve. I do have extended controls on this, uh, this one has been a carry pistol and is showing the wear. Uh, and like I say, this is the one that I've uh, considered re-finishing uh, and uh, retiring as a carry pistol. Uh, it's pretty much been retired as a carry pistol, however, I haven't gotten around to refinishing it that yet. So that'll probably be a project for uh, 2012. The next one we have is uh, originally a Rock Island GI model. Uh, it's had the uh, sights replaced, uh, extended uh, grip safety, and... Uh, uh, slide release, uh, skeletonized Wilson combat trigger, and skeletonized hammer. It does have uh, the uh, grip safety uh, flange bobbed off a little bit to allow the uh, skeletonized hammer. And uh, it's using uh, Pierce uh, wraparound uh, gripper grips. The next 1911 we've got is the, the Colt Combat Commander. Uh, in 9mm. Uh, stock, absolutely bone stock uh, as it came from the factory uh, Colt. Uh, like I say, it features the GI sights, the uh, polished commander, standard commander hammer. Like I say, it's had no modifications done to it whatsoever. Next one we got is the government model. This one is uh, auto ordnance. This is the uh, 100th anniversary model and does feature the uh, 100th anniversary roll mark on the uh, right side of the pistol. Uh, like I say, standard GI setup. This is uh, basically a reproduction of uh, the original World War II issue pistol with the Parkerized finish and such. Next one we have is the uh, Essex. This is the one from the Essex rebuild where you saw us basically completely go through this pistol and uh, rebuild it. I basically did it to a uh, World War II reproduction appearance for the most part. Uh, obviously in 45 ACP. And this is a blued pistol instead of a Parkerized pistol. Uh, the next one we have is the, it's another Rock Island uh, government model. Right now, uh, this one uh, is in uh, 762 by 25. Obviously, a Tokarov round. Uh, that was done with a barrel exchange. And uh, what, uh, what I do have to do with this because um, the uh, 762 by 25 round is actually too long to. Uh, operate in a 38 super magazine what uh, happens with this one is it uh, I have to customize uh, custom load uh, the rounds for it and uh, make them uh, shorter than the uh, standard 762 by 25 round but it does shoot the uh, 762 by 25 the uh, next one we got is our uh, 
this is a custom one-off uh, features a Rock Island slide and an arms core frame uh, it's a stainless steel frame that's been uh, machine jeweled um, this uh, was one of my original carry pistols I don't carry it too often anymore uh, it does feature the uh, standard 8 round magazine with the X grip extension on it all fusion firearm internals uh, Wilson combat uh, extended grip safety as well as uh, extended thumb safety. It's got the Novak style three dot sights on it. We bring in the uh, Rock Island Armory five inch government model. Uh, the only thing that's been done to this is the extended uh, thumb safety on it, the uh, Colt grips. This one's in uh, 38 Super. And last but not least, the uh, Rock Island Armory 5 inch. This is the uh, model 2011. Features the uh, full length uh, rail on the front, uh, Novak style sights. Uh, these are actually uh, Meta Pro Light night sights. Ambidextrous uh, thumb safeties, the extended beaver tail, and the uh, skeletonized trigger and hammer. Uh, this one is using uh, grip skin grips. And. Uh, shoots the uh, 45 ACP. For 2012 there's a couple more uh, 1911s that are coming out from Rock Island that uh, probably will be added to uh, the collection. Um, basically my planned projects uh, for 2012 will be to get the uh, mid-size in 45 ACP refinished the other thing I want to do is uh, encourage everybody to uh, join the NRA. I think with the upcoming elections, input from the NRA is going to have a uh, significant impact on the outcome of that. And, you know, in, in 2011, I went from being an annual member, went ahead and put in my lifetime membership, and with some of the offers they had, I was able to save $400 on that. You know, they're, they're there for our gun rights, along with several other organizations, but they're the driving factor. Like I say, I don't necessarily agree with uh, everything they uh, have to say. I get their magazine and basically only read the uh, American Citizen section, which uh, talks about uh, how people have used uh, guns for self-defense and all that, and pretty much don't read the rest of it, because... Uh, while some of it is uh, important stuff, uh, some of it is also just, in my, in, in my perception, just propaganda. And uh, I, I just don't tune into that very well. Uh, they are standing up for our rights, and they are doing it routinely. And they're there for you. So I would encourage everybody to uh, at least join uh, as an annual member. And uh, then if you later decide to join as a lifetime member, then you've got that option. You know, 25 bucks is all it costs, and there's uh, plenty of guys here that have access to uh, the discount price. So, like I say, I'd encourage everybody to be a member. Let them stand up for their rights, because uh, with the upcoming elections, I do think it's going to make a difference. Uh, although there's not a candidate that I'm very happy with at this point, I really think the NRA is going to be kind of a driving force uh, in the outcome. So anyway, I hope you guys find this interesting. We'll talk to you later. You have a good day.